and all of you know it is not an easy task at all. Uh, it's a work of last so many years. Maybe for Chandrayaan 3 it's a work of last four years, but for Chandrayaan 2 that was a work of many years back. And uh, the learning that we got from Chandrayaan 2 of uh, our unsuccessful attempt to soft, soft land has really helped us in perfecting the, uh, the methodology and also to have large number of experiments plus to prove the process of landing. Successful attempt to soft, soft land has really helped us in perfecting the, uh, the methodology and also to have large number of experiments plus to prove the process of landing and it has paid dividends today and we had a very soft landing and it actually achieved most of the nominal conditions for the landing including the velocity of touchdown in fact i didn't get it exactly possibly my team will be able to tell them uh, the, ex the velocity was far less than two meter per second it actually gives us a lot of confidence that the health of the craft will be very good and we will be able to continue with the experiments including the Pragyan rover coming out and then doing all the experiments. So we are looking for very, very exciting 14 days from now for Chandrayaan 3. And as Honorable Prime Minister has mentioned, it is not Chandrayaan 3 alone, it is for future scientific exploratory missions. This is the beginning of uh, a golden era. That's, that is a message I get from what our Prime Minister told. <clears throat> so we are looking for launch of Aditya L1 now next month and also the launches of many other science missions, including the mission for the human space flight as well. So, thanking each one of you for your support. And I cannot tell you the type of uh, uh, the, the excitement that is created in the whole of India. Every school child, every school, every village, every mohalla is excited by the shock, showcasing of this uh, landing videos and broadcast. And all of them are praying having a lot of pujas and homas and other methods of prayers suitable for each one of them to, for the success of this mission. And I want to thank each one of you for your, your excitement, your love for the nation and for whatever we achieved today. It's all dedicated to your, uh, yourself and for your courage and strength to support us. Thank you so much. ISRO is planning many missions in the coming days. Uh, our immediate mission is Aditya L1. And Aditya L1 spacecraft is a mission to study the sun, especially the corona of the sun, the processes that take place. The satellite is called Aditya L1. It's already integrated and, and it has moved to Sri Harikota and possibly it will be integrated with the rocket very, very, maybe today, tomorrow. And we are planning to have a launch in the first week of uh, September. Everything is going as per plan and after the launch, and this launch will go to an elliptical orbit and from that it will travel to the Lagrangian L1 point which will take almost 120 days plus. <coughs> it will be placed in that orbit and it will do continuous observation of sun unobstructed by the sun, moon or earth. So that is what we are trying to do. There are seven instruments on board Aditya L1. Now I let me complete some more, some more of the missions. The next mission which you are trying to do is the Gaganyan uh, uh, abort mission demonstration using a test vehicle. For this also, the preparations are very well going on. We are targeting to have it on in the end of September or possibly first week of October. So everything is going as per plan. After that, we have a GSLU mission for INSAT 3DS, the, the weather forecasting mission. We also have a mission in PSLV, which is scheduled now. And we also have to have the SSLV D3 mission, which is the third development flight of GSL SSLV. So this much is for a short time of next three months. And for other years, I should not announce at this moment because we are working very hard to achieve those targets. Thank you so much. Agle chaude din mein, agle chaude din mein, hamare ye rover hai na, Vikram rover, Vikram lander, Vikram lander ke health health conditions humko humko check karna hai. Iske baad the rover, the Pragyan rover will come out. Pragyan rover will come out in next uh, maybe a few hours. Sometimes it may take one day as well, depending upon the conditions. Then it, each of the instruments will be deployed. There are many instruments. There is an instrument called uh, Remba, which will be deploying to study the uh, geophysical parameters of the Ragolith. Uh, then there is an ILSA, which will measure the seismic activity. Then there is, no, sorry, Remba is going to measure the, uh, the atmosphere, the charged atmosphere of the moon. And there is a 
taste which is going to pierce on the surface of the moon and then measure the thermophysical properties of the sergolith then we have a uh, ilsa payload which is uh, which will be lowered from the moon uh, craft that is vikram it will be lowered using some ropes it will touch the surface and measure the seismic activity on the moon and once the pragyan rover comes out there will be two important ex experiments and two of them both of them are linked with the elemental composition and chemical composition of the surface of the moon the first experiment will be using a laser beam we will send a laser beam from the rover on the material it will fuse it and then it will generate some spectroscopic information which will identify elements there another experiment is related to an alpha particle which will be emitted by the radioactive material sitting there and that will generate certain x-ray fluorescence on the surface and that will be measured to find out the chemical composition so these are the main experiments that are on board chandrayaan 3 now